In this week's quick tip, we're going to be talking about another of Apple's latest announcements, their new operating system for the Mac, Mavericks. Apple actually decided last week at WWDC to get away from the cat names of their previous operating systems like Tiger, Jaguar, Leopard, Mountain Lion, Lion, and take a whole new spin in naming their next operating systems after locations in California, including this best surf spot named Mavericks. I'd like to take you through a couple of the newest features today as we've gotten an early preview of this operating system. First thing I'd like to show you is an update to Apple Safari. The first thing you'll notice is it looks pretty much the same as it did before. But taking on some of the previous features, like the bookmarks button up at the top, as well as keeping a lot of the same features from Mountain Lion like the share button. One of the new features is a sidebar. This pulls right from what most people enjoyed about Internet Explorer, having their bookmarks open at the side while they can still surf their favorite websites. Right in the bookmarks bar, you'll see your favorites bar. Apple's actually renamed the bookmarks bar up top to the favorites bar. And in the side panel, you'll also see all of your bookmarks from the menu, as well as any other folders you've created. Under the hood, Safari has gotten a lot of changes and now becomes the fastest operating system for the Mac. The next feature I'd like to show you is Finder. Finder has gotten a couple updates and it's been well needed for a while now. The first update is what Apple's calling tags. In previous operating systems, you used to be able to create colorful labels that you could then add to your documents. Well, Apple's now taken that one step further with tags and allowed you to name them as well as sort by them. So take, for example, this birthday card. I can now click on this new tags button and apply the home tag. Then I'd be able to click on the tags on the side to see the documents that are in them or quickly search by tags to find exactly what's in that tag. The next feature of Finder that I'm really looking forward to is tabs. Previously, if I wanted to have my documents open, as well as my downloads or applications, I used to have to go up to File and New Finder window and then jump right into Applications. But now Apple's brought the benefit of tabs to the Finder. And now with a simple Command T, I can open up a secondary tab and go into another location like Desktop or Applications and be able to jump right back and forth between these two different locations in my Finder. The next feature I'm really excited about is an upgrade to the calendar. As you can see, it looks a lot different from the calendar in Mountain Lion, but those of you who are familiar with the calendar in Snow Leopard and Leopard will feel right at home. Again, all the benefits of the Mountain Lion calendar, like quick creation of events, are still in this calendar. But they've added some really nice features, like travel time. So here, for example, when I open up this appointment, where I'm having lunch at Panera in Greensboro, it actually shows me the travel time for my current location, as well as the calendar and the weather, so I know whether to pack a jacket or, in this case, wear a short sleeve shirt. This jumps right into another feature borrowed directly from their iPhone and iPad operating system, iOS, and that's Maps. Right here, simply clicking on that calendar event shows me directions that I can use right here on my Maps. Now with iOS 7, you can start with Maps on your computer, then send it to your iPhone, and then get in your car and drive to wherever you're needing to go. Maps also brings all the other features, including the beautiful flyover, where you can navigate around the globe and see in three dimensions different locations around the world. But perhaps the biggest change is the behind the scenes. Apple has re-engineered the operating system to take full advantage of the power of your Mac. And actually they haven't changed the requirements for this operating system over the last one. Which means if you're currently running Mountain Lion on your Mac, you'll be able to upgrade to Mavericks when it releases in the fall. One of the biggest benefits is actually the power saving tools allowing you to get much better battery life out of your Mac. Overall, one of the best changes of the Mac is now if you have multiple windows open, like here in Safari, and then I open Maps on top of it, it actually pauses the data usage of the application in the background, in this case Safari, saving me lots of battery life and lots of power on my Mac. In a nutshell, whatever you have open in front and whatever you're currently working with is actually using the resources while everything in the background is in a pause state. I hope you enjoyed this week's quick tip and a quick look into Mavericks. If you have any questions, feel free to get a hold of us by sending us an email at info at triadmac.com.
We enjoy to hear from you with any questions you have about last week's iOS 7 and this week's quick peek into Mavericks. And we'll enjoy helping you when you get your hands on them this fall.